Fuck. 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 <laughs> Did you, um, did you hear that? Yeah, that right there was a double, double donk, aka a pure fucking dopamine rush. <laughs> yeah, this loose cannon thing, it's, uh, it's pretty fun. The loose cannon's whole shtick is that it swaps out boring grenades for much more awesome cannonballs, which interact with your enemies a bit differently, but who actually cares? It's just two things you need to know about them. Number one, they knock you around all over the place, and number two, sometimes they hit a thing called a double dump. You know. Yeah, I got a lot more clips like that, so you're just gonna have to bear with me through the double donks. This means the loose cannon can dish out some pretty fatty damage, because when those cannonballs hit just right and explode just after impacting your enemy, it gets the good old dopamine receptors bumping out a bit of juice, if you know what I mean. Seriously though, there is just nothing more satisfying than some overzealous scout running at you ready to hit that 105 damage scattergun meat shot so they can put you in their little montage until... Oh, what are you, buddy? Yeah, that's a, that's a noob down. And look, I get that some Div 4 demo man just saw that play and thought to themselves, Bro, the Iron Bomber is so much better, yo. It actually has a bigger hitbox and stock and it's way more consistent than the loose cannon. Well, guess what? I don't care. I know this is the worst primary for demo man. I mean, Jesus, you could probably argue the base jumper has better moments than this thing. But, do you know what it can't do? And along with that, actually, do you, do you know what stock the Iron Bomber and the Lock and Load also can't do? Yeah, that's right. No double donking, which means uh, no dopamine, which means sadness. But right, okay, we get it, El Maxo. This this thing can double donk, all right. But what else is it capable of? Well, I am glad you asked, astute viewer in the audience, because yes, it does have a few other tricks up its barrel, like up its barrel, up its sleeve. A few tricks up your sleeve. Do you get it? Because of the way the loose cannon charges up its attacks, it also allows for some pretty awesome explosive jumping, which is similar to that of the Beggar's Bazooka, as you essentially overload, or in this case overcharge your cannonballs, so that it explodes behind you and sends you flying. This allows for some pretty stupid shit to occur, as you can essentially ignore your responsibilities as a power class and become a fully fledged de facto spy who can one shot the backline. Now to maximize this bullshittery, I like to take the Tide Turner in conjunction with the bottle that thing random crits like nothing else, which makes killing oblivious enemies a bunch easier. Now, is this strategy effective, I hear you ask? And, well, that's a pretty loaded term. I mean, is it fun? Absolutely. Are you mobile as all hell? For sure. Are you providing any utility to your team whatsoever? Debatable. <laughs> so bad at this game sometimes. Just like the loose cannon is a <laughs> downgrade from your other options, you could argue that bombing into your enemies, which puts you down to like 100 health, with an empty bottle of scrumpy is also a slight downgrade to Demo's traditional playstyle. But I say go where your heart tells you. And for me, that's straight to the backline. Because the loose cannon has that whole doinking mechanism which knocks enemies back, it becomes a good tool for denying enemy ubers. Even though you may be invulnerable to damage, it doesn't mean you can escape the power of the donk, which still has the ability to launch enemies backwards while ubercharged. You pretty much function like a little pyro with a ranged version of air blast, and whilst it definitely doesn't push them back as far, I found that the loose cannon can come in pretty clutch at delaying some heavy medic combo from reaching your team, which means their uber is shorter and less effective, and that's pretty good in my books. It has honestly saved my own ass, along with my team's collective ass, a fair few times. It's when you backpedal and continue to knock them away, it stops something like a heavy from mowing your entire team down. I actually had a sort of epiphany as I began writing down more and more of these fun elements to the loose cannon, and that's that they are often very niche, very funny, but also very useless. Like take for example this next section about juggling your enemies. You shoot the ball at them, they go wee, and you make them fall to their death. It's definitely niche, I mean it rarely happens, it's very fun, I don't think that part really needs explaining, and yes, extremely useless and impractical. But that's the loose cannon at its core, so rather than going on to the downsides of the weapon and actually analysing it like I initially intended to, I realised, no, this is the funny gun. It doesn't have to be good, because to be honest, the worse it is, the funnier it gets. So I actually implore you to stop pub stomping with the Iron Bomber for just a round or two, and give this thing a whirl, because I actually don't think any other weapon has consistently made me laugh more 
than this thing has while I was recording. This video has been a mess and all over the place, but I think I communicated the main message I wanted to in the end. So anyway, check out my Discord if you're into that type of thing, and if not, I'll see you in another video.